My name is Lisa Griffiths and I'm retired from the U.S. Marshal Service. So I knocked on the door and a silver-haired gentleman named Howard Dalbo answered the door and he had a shoulder holster on and that was it. That was my career move right there. I was so impressed with his vest and his shoulder holster that I decided that's the career I really wanted to work in. I would say that working for an agency like that does kind of limit your abilities to get dates <laughs> because most guys are not very receptive to dating someone that carries a gun. That's always kind of been a little bit of a problem. So, and, and uh, by the way, I'm not married anymore. I, I haven't been for about five years, but I, that was uh, kind of a conversation stopper. So I worked in the Cleveland and the Akron area for a number of years, and I got promoted, and I got promoted to the Witness Security Division. And I was an inspector with them and I moved to Houston, Texas. That was my first uh, job promotion location. So I started out in Ohio and I worked just as a basic deputy marshal and those jobs were different. They were arresting fugitives, it was protecting witnesses, it was producing prisoners in custody for federal court, and also um, I was in charge of fingerprinting all the new arrests restees and also documenting their personal history in our uh, prisoner system which was called the prisoner tracking system. The exciting thing is uh, when I was going to go into law enforcement the local police, the jurisdictions, just a county or a city or possibly a state if they're state troopers, but in the federal law enforcement you have the whole United States so when people think about going into a law enforcement career, they should really think about looking at the federal agencies because I think there's enough diversity there in the job that it would make, make it a challenge for you know anyone. And we were going after a bank robber in Cleveland, Ohio, and um, all three of us had vests, but there was the old adage that if you wore it, you were chicken. And in the middle of the night, I took mine out, and the Velcro makes a lot of noise, and I was putting mine on, and that's all the guys needed was to have somebody else put theirs on first, and then we all put them on. I, I have a better appreciation for police officers. When I grew up in the 60s, it was the image of the police were, was very negative during the uh, race riots um, that occurred in the late 60s in Cleveland, the Huff riots, and then uh, Oakland, California, there were quite a, quite a lot of civil disturbances. Uh, Vietnam was going on, you had student protests, and the police were pretty much viewed as just uh, groups of barbarians that controlled protesters and beat up on them. And at that time, I, I didn't like police at all, but there was an old uh, saying, in, uh, and I can't remember which uh, radical said it, but he said, you're either part of the solution or part of the problem. And so I thought, well, the best way to, to be a solution to good law enforcement is to work with a law enforcement agency because you're not going to have much effect as an outsider. 